What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about self-improvement. And when I woke up today and I took a shower, um, and, and you want to know something, honestly, at this point, taking showers and eating are big steps for me. It's something I'm excited to do because I know how much I've been treating it like it's an inconvenience. And uh, I've really ha I've really been trying to elevate and grow and sometimes baby steps baby steps and, and that's what matters um but I was just like I really want to talk to everybody and this won't be my typical 10 minute video this is probably just going to be about five minutes but I think that talking about self-improvement is important I think that what you should do is sit down and have a conversation with yourself and write some stuff out and just list some goals list some things that you want to do for yourself you know just write everything out write your write what you want out Write what you want from yourself down. You know what I'm saying? Write the expectations that you have for yourself, that you have for your life. This is about you. Talk about what you want. And I feel like we don't really focus enough on ourselves. I feel, I really feel like we don't. I feel like, um, and honestly, especially as my personal experience as a woman, people make you feel like you have to put everybody before you. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like other people's feelings and other, or just in general, I feel like people feel that way. I feel like people feel like we have to abandon us to go handle someone or something else. And that's not fair to you. At no point should you ever feel like you just need to neglect yourself to prioritize somebody else before you. And the thing is, I feel like, when you put somebody else before yourself, when you put other things before you, you leave yourself very vulnerable to a lot, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of mistreatment, a lot. You leave yourself to put out for a lot. And I don't want any of y'all to go through that. So I'm saying this now because I feel like what we need is a moment to understand what we want. We as in you. We, as in me, what I want for myself and what you want for you. And I encourage y'all to take at least... 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, shit, a whole day if you want to. Take that time out of your day and put that energy right back into you. Flip everything right back into you. You know, do, do please just do what makes you happy. That's something y'all are going to always, always, always hear me say. Do what makes you happy. Do it. Do not think twice about it. Do not, do what makes you happy, please. Do what makes you feel as if you have put yourself before everybody. And sometimes it doesn't feel good because a lot of us feel wrong for putting ourselves first and for doing what makes us happy. Screw it and do it. That's what I'm going to start saying. Screw it and do it. Screw what people got to say. Do what the hell you want to do. It's, it's And I know it's easier said than done. I know because when you have strings connected to things and people, it's hard to just sever those and do what you want. But I am telling you right now, please do what makes you happy. Free yourself from the shackles of other people's. You want to know something? Everybody's going to have an opinion. Everybody's going to have an opinion. Everybody is going to think something about you, whether it's good, neutral or negative. And you want to know something? You could go and, and come up with a amazing plan to save the world of all its issues. You could, you know, you could figure out the solution to poverty and world hunger and all of this. You could, you could cause so many good things to happen in this world. You could bring so much serenity to this world. I'm telling you, you could go above and beyond to accumulate positive energy and good things. Somebody will still not like you. You can be everything people want you to be. Somebody still won't like you. Because you you stop stop trying to get people. Stop. You know what you're doing? You have made yourself a tug of war rope. And you're you're allowing these people to pull you this way, and then you're allowing these people to pull you that way. Don't be the rope. Do not be a tug of war rope. Be yourself. You are not something people can, can dictate. You are not someone that people can have control over. Do not be that tug of war rope. Do not, do not be the world's tug of war rope because at the end of the day, you won't be happy. So instead of doing what people want 
because you you're gonna do what people want and they still won't like you so regardless of what you do people still won't like you so because people still won't like you it's best that you're just doing what you want to do doing what makes you happy because even if you were trying to people please there's going to be, you might please these people, them people still won't like you. You go try to please them people, those people still won't like you. You try to please those people, them people back there still won't like you. They won't. So instead of being not only unhappy because you're really not your true self, not, on, not only chasing after trying to please everybody else, instead of doing all of that, just be yourself and let people talk shit because it's going to happen anyways. It's going to happen anyways and so this is why i'm telling y'all this is where the self-improvement comes in because you need to strengthen yourself you need to figure out what it is that you want outside of what people want for you because they can want uh, they can want great things for you but you have to want great things to happen for yourself and you're the one that has to put the work in for those things to happen for you it's as simple as that that's just what that is it's simple sad complicated sometimes being done and so y'all know the one thing i'm not gonna do is lie to y'all or try to mis mis mislead y'all but i feel like this is something some people need to hear this is your time to shine this is your time to shine and don't let nobody try to convince you of anything else so i love y'all i'm gonna let y'all go because i said i wasn't gonna make this into 10 minutes but I love y'all. Um, if I'm going to start plugging my social medias in just here, I'm going to put my link tree down below. But my TikTok is Kaylin Easley, C-A-I-L-E-N-E-A-S-E-L-Y. And it's this, my Instagram is the same, but I'm going to have my link tree down below with some links. I have Pearbender merch. If you don't know what Pearbender is, don't worry about that. If you know, you know. Um, I have Pearbender bonnets. Uh, I just have di different little links, petitions, some things like that. So uh, check me out on TikTok. Check me out on Instagram. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>